This is the book of Psalms, chapter 37, verse 18. Yahweh knoweth the days of the upright, and their inheritance shall be forever. They shall not be ashamed in the evil time, and in the days of famine they shall be satisfied. First and foremost, before I start this lesson, I want to give all honor, glory, and praise to Yahweh, Ba'ashim Yahushah, Ba'ashim Rekakudash, and the brother Tazamakamoth. I want to give double honors to the elders and apostles of Great Millstone that teaches truth and Ruel. <laughs> Peace and salutation to the hopeful light that scatter abroad. All right. Let's read this again. This is Psalms 37 and 18. Yahweh knoweth the days of the upright, and their inheritance shall be forever. Right. Only the Heavenly Father knoweth the day. Let's actually, you know... Prove that. It says, but of that day and hour knoweth no man. So it says, no, not the angels of heaven, but my father only. So even Yahweh Shai, he doesn't know the time that he's going to come back and, you know, do the great deliverance of his elect. OK, only the Heavenly Father knows the time he's going to send back Yahweh Shai when all these things about to come to pass, all the prophecies that come come to pass in order. MOTB, et cetera, et cetera. All right. But it says Yahweh knows the days of the upright. Right, the elect, because only the elect is going to be saved in this dur during this time. It's not going to be all of Israel. And it says, and their inheritance shall be forever, because guess what? The elect is going to be the first fruits. All right. The first the first uh, lineage of your of your of your line. OK. Not only that, the kingdom, <clears throat> the kingdom is going to be. For us forever. Now all Israel will be saved. But because you're going to come through the loins of the elect. But. It says the inheritance shall be forever. Meaning we're not going to be taken off our kingdom. We're not going to be. You know. Going through another another oppression. Okay. Because we're going to be changed. We're going to be perfect. We're not going to be able to sin against the heavenly father. All right. Which makes us immortal. All right, these laws, statutes, and commandments, they were given to us to become immortal. When we follow them 100%, we can never die. Okay? Verse 19, they shall not be ashamed in the evil time. And in the days of famine, they shall be satisfied. All right? Because look, the Lord sent in a, a time of famine. An evil time meaning, meaning um, bad times. Okay? And the days of famine, they shall they shall be satisfied, meaning we're going to be eating. So first, let's go to Jeremiah 30. This is Jeremiah 35. It says, For thus saith Yahweh, we have heard a voice of trembling, of fear, and not of peace. Okay? The Lord is not bringing peace. He's, being, he's bringing destruction. He's bringing famine. Uh, pestilence, judgment, okay, on every side. All right, so Jeremiah the prophet, he 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 seen this vision. He seen the people screaming, you know, people dying. He didn't see peace going on. Verse six: Ask ye now and see whether a man doeth travail with child. Wherefore do I see every man with his hands on his loins, as a woman in travail, and all faces turn into paleness. Right, man, you gonna you see you see grown men they're they're in, in travail, you know they they traumatize, you know men women screaming children screaming, you know death on every corner the Lord sending death, <laughs> the Lord sending death upon the earth especially America, okay because two thirds of our people are gonna be cut off in this land. <laughs> All right, but verse seven, it says, alas, for that day is great, so that none is like it. 
It is even a time of Jacob's trouble, but he shall be saved out of it. So when we go back to Psalms uh, 37, uh, it says, verse 19, it says, They shall not be ashamed in the evil time, because the Lord said he's going to be saved out of it. And Lord willing, we be part of that number. Okay? The Lord promised us He's gonna we're going to be saved out of it. All right, but now it says, and in the in the days of famine, they shall be satisfied. All right, so when you go to Job, fifth chapter. Job 5 and 19. He shall deliver thee in six troubles. Yeah, in seven, there shall no evil touch thee. All right, when these nukes come down and etc. Hey, the Lord said... No evil shall touch you. Because these nukes are part of the plague. They're part of the plague of Yahweh Bashem Yahshai. But he says he's going to deliver us in six trouble and six troubles. So during the midst of Jacob's trouble, when we see people dying, people in these FEMA camps, you know, they're selling out, you know, people eating each other and etc. Man, it's going to be gruesome. The Lord said he's going to deliver us. Right. But verse 20, it says in famine, he shall redeem thee from death. Because in, in Psalm 37, it says um, in famine, you shall be satisfied. OK, meaning the Lord is going to, you know, he's going to feed us. It says in famine, he shall redeem thee from death and in war from the power of the sword. Thou shalt be hid from the scourge of the tongue. Neither shall thou be afraid of destruction when it cometh. Because guess what? The Lord is going to put a different spirit around you. <clears throat> and it says, At destruction and famine thou shalt laugh, neither shalt thou be afraid of the beasts of the earth. Okay? For thou shalt be in league with the stones of the field, and the beasts of the field shall be at peace with thee. Right? Because guess what? The Lord's incorruptible spirit is in all things. All right? You're going to have, you know, the animals, you know, um, abiding with you protecting you, helping you, okay? But guess what? In destruction and famine, thou shalt laugh. You're not going to be afraid of the animals, all right? And guess what? It's going to be newly created creatures, bro. Imagine that the newly created creature around right your side, ready to destroy anything that's in, in your path, okay? That's not what Yahweh Bashim Yahshai, or the Lord is not showing mercy to. Imagine that. That shit is going to destroy it, man. <laughs> Or you could just say one thing and destroy it, whatever. All right. But the Lord said He's gonna He's gonna redeem you. He's gonna redeem it. He's gonna redeem us in in during the time of famine. Cause guess what? You're gonna see a lot of people dying from the lack of hunger. All right. He said you're not gonna be afraid of destruction when it cometh. All right. Cause when you go to Isaiah 33, what does it say? Isaiah 33 and 6. And wisdom and knowledge shall be the stability of your times. All right. Yeah, wisdom and knowledge helps us now. It helps us keep us stable. You know, when you apply this word to your daily life, it does keep you stable because you see the things that's going on in the earth. But when is it, when is it really going to be applied when all you got is you and your how about Shem Yal Shai? When it's just you and the Lord, you know, walking through the mist. Of death on every side, you know, utter chaos. It's just you and the faith that you built with the Lord, man. The relationship. And guess what? The fear of the Lord increases wisdom and knowledge. So what's going to keep you stable is um, this wisdom and knowledge of the Holy Bible. Okay? Knowing the names of Yahweh Bashim Yashai. Knowing his will. Knowing what he's about to do. Knowing that. Hey, you done this work. He's not unrighteous to forget your works and labors of love. Okay? So you got to sincerely believe that, man. It says in strength of salvation, the fear of Yahweh is his treasure. So when you fear your father, you fear the Lord. That's love in itself. Because you know the Lord could fuck you up, man. But it says the fear of Yahweh is his treasure. That's his delight when you fear him. When you see judgment on every side, you want to be fearing your how about you, shot. Shit, me speaking to myself, boy, I see people, brains getting blasted, and, bro, 
that's very traumatic, man. We see that on on the web, on the web, you know, on the internet, but how much more in real time, man? Okay, the Lord is gonna come through for His men, His elect. Okay, don't be surprised, man. It'll give you spiritual power to lift up a standard. Okay, whatever it may be. Let's go back to let's go to uh, Psalms ninety one. Uh, Psalms 91. I wanted to touch on this point real quick. Because we're not going to be afraid during that time, man. Um, Psalms 91 and 7. A thousand shall fall at thy side, and ten thousand at thy right hand, but it shall not come nigh thee. Okay? Meaning, the Lord is going to have a literally like um, a protection bubble around you. Okay, you're going to see death on every side, but guess what? It's not going to come nigh to you. That's why in destruction and famine, thou shalt laugh. Because you know you got your how about you know, shall protecting you, man. But jumping down to verse 9, it says, Because he had made, he has made Yahweh, which is my refuge, even the most high, the habitation, right? Your refuge, meaning your savior. All right, my habitation, somewhere you dwell. When, hey, when we're going through times of tough times, good times, all right, we, we habitate to Yahweh Shemi Shai, okay? The water Yahweh Shemi Shai for everything, all right? Verse 10, there shall no evil befall you, neither shall any plague come nigh thy dwelling. You hear that? Lord said, no evil shall befall you, neither shall any plague come nigh thy dwelling. And look, when that time come, Hey, we pray to y'all, Bashim Yashai. We can say Psalms 91 and 10. Lord, you say Psalms 91 and 10 that no evil gonna befall me. Neither shall any plague come nigh thy dwelling. You know? Hey, the Lord stands by his word. Okay? The Lord is not a man, he shall lie. Okay? And believe that. Alright. Verse 11 For he shall give his angels charge over thee. To keep thee in all thy ways. So he's going to have literally guardian angels around you to help you and to keep you in every way possible, man. Okay? In every way possible. No plague shall become nigh that dwelling. So famine, etc. It's not going to come nigh to you. Let's grab uh, Jeremiah. Jeremiah 15 and 11. It says, Yahweh said, Verily it shall be well with thy remnant, the elect. It shall be well. All these comforting words, man. The Lord said he got us. It says, Verily I will cause the enemy to entreat thee well. Entreat you, meaning to, to treat you, man. Take care of you. In a time of evil and in the time of affliction. The Lord could literally make the angels a... Hey, tell them to help my help my servant or help help this family. You know, you, hey, bro, the Lord going miraculous, miraculous things, man. Miraculous things. Let's go to uh, Isaiah. <laughs> Isaiah 63. No. Isaiah 65. This is Isaiah 65 and 13. It says, Therefore thus saith the Lord, Yehowah, Behold, my servant shall eat, but ye shall be hungry. Okay? The Lord said, My servant shall eat. The ones that put their life on the line. All right? That went out to do what he commanded them, commanded them to do. To show love by keeping his law, such and commandments the best of their ability. All right? That kind of all things is done. They, the Lord said they're going to eat, but you're going to be hungry, right? These two thirds, they didn't take the Lord serious. It says, behold, my servant shall drink, but ye shall be thirsty. Behold, my servant shall rejoice, but ye shall be ashamed. Okay? Because guess what? All, when all these things happening, we're going to give all praise to Yahweh by Hashem Yahashai. Okay? You see the movie The Road. Okay, it find into different bunkers. 
Guess what? We we land into a bunker, man. We're gonna give all praise to you. How about Shamel Shai? Even if we're in a FEMA camp, Lord, you know, have you know angels deliver you food and etc. Give all praise to you. How about Shamel Shai? Right? Verse 14. Behold, my servant shall sing for joy of heart, but ye shall cry for sorrow of heart, and shall howl for vexation of spirit. All right, we're going to be singing in our mind. Yeah, how about Shema Shai at the water? You know, we're going to be praying and praising. Praying and praising to you. How about Shema Shai? Um, let's go back to Psalms 37. Let's read down a little bit. Verse 20 it says, But the wicked shall perish, and the enemies. Control our steps. Do what we think. All right. And where we are today. It says, though he fall, he shall not be utterly cast down. Yahweh will hold it, uphold of him with his hand. What's the what's Yahweh's hand? Yahweh shy. The just man fall. But guess what? Who got us? Yahweh shy. And guess what? That man, this is spiritual because you think about uh, Apostle Peter when Yahweh shy was in the middle of the sea. Apostle Peter said, Lord, is that you? Can I can I come to you? He said, Come. And and Apostle Peter, he was walking, but then the storm came. He, his faith got wavery and he fell into the water. But guess what? Yahweh Shai upholded him with his hand. Okay? He said, Thou, thou art of little faith. Okay? You know? Hey, the Lord going to have mercy upon us, man. We got to believe. We got to have faith in Yahweh Hashem El Shai. It says, I have been young and now am old, yet I, have I not seen the righteous forsaken, nor his seed begging bread. Okay. Hey, uh, Sirach 2 and 10. Who, who have ever called in the name of the Lord and been confounded and forsaken? Right? None. It says he is merciful and lendeth, and is and his uh, his seed is blessed. Depart from evil and do good, and dwell forevermore. Okay, let's jump down um, to right here, Psalms thirty-seven, thirty-four. Wait on Yahweh and keep his way, and he shall exalt thee to inherit the land. <laughs> okay, wait on him. And he's going to exalt us to inherit the land, the land of Israel. It says, when the wicked are cut off, thou shalt see it. Ooh, Psalms 91. Only with thy eyes shall see the reward of the wicked. Right? It says, I have seen the wicked in great power and spreading himself like a green braid tree. All right? And that's what the wicked is doing now. Big ass tree. This the spreading evil. It says, yet he passed away and lo, he was not. Yeah, I saw him, but he could not be found. Mark the perfect man and behold the upright for the end of that man is peace. And guess what? We're marking the perfect man now. Okay. Hey, our elders and apostles of great millstone, you know, guess what? They lean us the, the right path to get right with you. How about Shemya Shai? You know, our elders and apostles of great millstone, they've been doing this for decades. 
Okay. You know how the scriptures say, mark the man that, that caused the vision. Guess what? The Lord also say, mark the perfect man. <laughs> mark the perfect man that's doing what I tell him to do. That's teaching my doctrine. 100%. And teaching the names, etc. Okay. This is what the Lord is. Hey, that's how you know who to follow. Okay. You can't be wavering. You got to know. All right. Verse 38. But the transgressors shall be destroyed together. The end of the wicked shall be cut off, but the salvation of the righteous is of Yahweh. He is their strength in the time of trouble. Woo! Okay? So when, hey, during the time of trouble, we're going to be calling upon Yahweh by Shem Yashai. He is our strength. He is our shield, our refuge, our buckler. Okay? <sighs> salvation is coming from Yahweh by Shem Yashai. It says, and Yahweh shall help them. And deliver them. He shall deliver them from the wicked and save them because they trust in him. Because they trust in him. Because they trust in him. That's how we're going to be saved. Okay. The Lord said he's going to save us from the wicked and deliver us because we trust in him. Amen. Ain't nothing better than Yahweh Bashim Yashai coming. And Lord, we're going to be the elect. You see us and, hey, we, hey we, we're we down looking up, you know, bowing and seeing Yahweh Bashim Yashai and praising him. And we hear that that voice in our head come up hither. Oh, man. Hey, because we trust in the Lord, man. We know all these things going to come. Prophecy is going to come. This all going to come, man. Hey, whoo, hey, man. So with that, you know, Lord willing, this lesson been um, edifying and exhorting. I want to give all honor, glory, and praise to Yahweh, by Shem Yahweh Shai, by Shem Kakudash. Today, I'm gonna say Shalom.